Hi, my name is Stephen Pang. Uh, I'm the Singapore Consul General in Chengdu. Uh, all of my work also uh, covers Singapore's relations with Chongqing, and this is the reason why I visited. I will visit the city very often. Um, today, um, uh, I'm very excited the opportunity to visit the Three Gorges. Uh, it is a very well-known uh, tourist attraction. But it's also uh, one of the name cards of Chongqing. So, being someone who is uh, working on improving relationship between Singapore and Chongqing, certainly treasure this opportunity to be able to see for myself the beauty and uh, experience the wonderful sceneries uh, of the Three Gorges. So, the first question is, uh, have you ever been to the Three Gorges? Uh, no, this is actually the first time uh, I'm visiting the Three Gorges. Mm -hmm. So, how's the first impression? Uh, very good. Uh, I must say that I'm very impressed uh, with the greenery and the natural scenery that I've seen. Um, and I think this is actually one of the uh, attraction of the Three Gorges. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to have the chance today to see some of these uh, sceneries for myself. Mm -hmm. So, in Singapore, uh, is the Three Gorges well known to the public or not? And if we want to promote the Three Gorges in Singapore, uh, what can we do? Mm. I think the Three Gorges uh, is, is a very well-known uh, tourist attraction uh, in Singapore as well. In fact, uh, when I was young, uh, I used to hear many of my uh, relatives uh, who have visited the Three Gorges. Uh, perhaps after the constructions of the Three Gorges Dam, some people may be wondering whether uh, some of those uh, sceneries are uh, preserved uh, after the dam has been constructed. Uh, but uh, today when I visited uh, the Three Gorges, I realized that actually uh, while the scenery may be different uh, compared to the past, there are still many beautiful places, especially looking at the mountains, uh, the beautiful waters, I think these sceneries uh, are really beautiful and, and they will really be attractive uh, to uh, people from my country, uh, especially since uh, there are many people in my country who actually love um, natural sceneries. And I think this is one of the places that uh, I think uh, will be very attractive to them. In particular, I think also because there are four seasons in China. So fortunately today, when we are visiting the Three Gorges, I understand we'll be able to see some Red leaves. I think this is uh, something that I'm looking forward to. Um, I I feel that actually um, Chongqing as a whole is uh, not uh, unfamiliar to Singaporeans, uh, partly because of the current third government to government project with China that we have uh, now, and through this uh, project we are now working very closely with Chongqing, who is the operating center for this uh, project. So many people actually uh, have began to actually pay more interest in wanting to know more about Chongqing, uh, especially what our two cities are actually working together. Uh, over the last one year since I've been uh, posted to China, I've uh, seen uh, increased uh, delegations of students, young people uh, who have come to Chongqing and wanted to see for themselves. And I think it was a very uh, pleasant experience for them. Because not only do they see a city, they also see a culture which is very uh, unique. Uh, because Chongqing is a, is a city that is built around mountain. It's also a city that built, was built around rivers. Uh, so there are a lot of um, uniqueness. Um, and that's reflected in, their, in the food culture, in the landscape, and also in the people, uh, in the characteristics of people, in fact. So I think uh, there will be increased interest uh, from uh, people in my country who want to know more about Chongqing. So you mentioned uh, there is a lot of cooperation between Singapore and Chongqing now. And I, I'm wondering, uh, how about the image of Chongqing in the young generation of Singapore? Yeah, because um, actually there are a lot of connection between mm. Singapore and China. For example, mm. there are a lot of Chinese diasporas in Singapore. So. Mm. Uh, I want to know the opinion or mm. the impression of the young people 
mm. in Singapore about China or about Chongqing? Mm. I think Chai, uh, Chongqing is a uh, well known uh, in part because of its historical significance. Uh, so many people have actually uh, learned and read about Chongqing uh, when they are trying to understand more about China's history. Um, and also China, Chongqing is also well known being a manufacturing base. So people who have actually um, been in the business sector uh, would actually know Chongqing from that perspective. Uh, but increasingly, I think um, uh, we are discovering more of Chongqing, uh, the different aspects. So um, I think I mentioned about the food. So for example, I think uh, in Singapore, uh, Huoko or hot pot is increasingly very popular among uh, young people who want to try a different kind of food culture. So I think they will be very pleasantly, uh, they'll be very interested, I think, uh, if to, to experience for themselves what Chongqing for Guo is. Um, apart from that, I also realized that Chongqing has many other uh, uh, resources, tourist resources, uh, which could actually be attractive to young Singaporeans as well. One of them, I think, will be the hot spring. Because so I think hot, Chongqing has many um, hot spring resources, uh, all over the city, all over the municipality. Mm -hmm. um, I, and Singaporeans actually uh, love to try out new things. Young Singaporeans love to try out new things. I think if they, if they will come here and discover for themselves uh, the wonderful uh, hot spring resources, or if there's actually uh, more publicity being made to tell people about the kind of um, places that they can go to experience hot spring, I think will actually be attractive to very many Singaporeans, especially the younger ones. Mm -hmm. uh, so the last question is that uh, in this trip to the Three Gorges, uh, which scenic spot uh, you want to uh, want to visit uh, most? Yeah. Uh, actually, after looking at the itinerary, there are two places that I'm actually looking forward to. Uh, one will be the Three Gorges Dam, mm -hmm. because it's the whole um, construction is such a I've heard so much about this, uh, the whole project uh, as a, a very significant hydraulic engineering feat. So I would like to see for myself um, the grandeur of, of the project and I understand where this opportunity to do so. Uh, the other one will be actually a natural scenery. So I also understand that this is the right time to look at the, uh, the red leaves in the Xiao San Xia. So I, I was told that our, the part of the cruise actually will be going to those places and uh, I'm looking forward to it.